Share Free Certificate of Competence in Zero Trust, CCZT, Exam Questions for Preparation. 1. Which of the following is a potential outcome of an effective ZT implementation? A regular vulnerability scanning. B. A comprehensive catalog of all transactions, dependencies, and services with associated IDs. C. Deployment of traditional firewall solutions. D. Adoption of biometric authentication. Answer. B. 2. When planning for ZT implementation, who will determine valid users, roles, and privileges for accessing data as part of data governance? A. IT teams B. Application owners C. Asset owners D. Compliance officers Answer. C. 3. According to NIST, what are the key mechanisms for defining, managing, and enforcing policies in a ZTA? A policy decision point, PDP, policy enforcement point, PEP, and policy information point, PIP. B. Data access policy, public key infrastructure, PKI, and identity and access management. I am C control plane, data plane, and application plane D policy engine, PE, policy administrator, PA, and policy broker, PB Answer A 4. ZT project implementation requires prioritization as part of the overall ZT project planning activities. One area to consider is underscore, blank. A prioritization based on risks. B. Prioritization based on budget. C. Prioritization based on management support. D. Prioritization based on milestones. Answer. A. 5. When planning for a ZTA, a critical product of the gap analysis process is underscore blank. A. A responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed RACI chart and communication plan. B. Supporting data for the project business case. C. The implementation's requirements D. A. Report on impacted identity and access management I. M. Infrastructure Answer. C. 6. During the monitoring and analytics phase of ZT transaction flows, organizations should collect statistics and profile the behavior of transactions. What does this support in the ZTA? A. Creating firewall policies to protect data in motion. B. A. Continuous assessment of all transactions. C. Feeding transaction logs into a log monitoring engine. D. The monitoring of relevant data in critical areas. Answer. B. 7. Which security tools or capabilities can be utilized to automate the response to security events and incidents? A. Single packet authorization, SPA. B. Security orchestration, automation, and response, SOAR. C. Multi factor authentication, MFA. D. Security Information and Event Management, SEAM Answer, B 8. Which approach to ZTA strongly emphasizes proper governance of Access privileges and entitlements for specific assets? A. 
ZTA using device application sandboxing B. ZTA using enhanced identity governance C. ZTA using micro-segmentation D. ZTA using network infrastructure and SDPs Answer. B. 9. What does device validation help establish in a ZT deployment? A. Connection based on user B. High-speed network connectivity C. Trusted connection based on certificate-based keys D. Unrestricted public access Answer. C. 10. In SAS and PAS, which access control method will ZT help define? For access to the features within a service. A. Data-based access control, DBAC. B. Attribute-based access control, ABAC. C. Role-based access control, RBAC. D. Privilege-based access control, PBAC. Answer. B.